Welcome back, everybody, to Dark Souls with your host, JW, here. I hope you guys didn't miss this too much because I've been jumping around from game to game. Um, what I need to do before anything else is, is actually hit a reset timer because <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, so, um, we're actually going to make short work of this area uh, because I... I won't lie to you guys, I despise this level. Um, if you played the first Dark Souls game, it, there was another level just like this one. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, the founders of Dark Souls love areas that make you want to pull your hair out. Uh, but I hate these levels, so I will not be dilly-dallying about this. It's an in, get in, get out kind of scenario, scenario going on. But I will show you what you need to do to proceed. Uh, there's, there's a couple things you need to do, which is A, right here. Okay, thank God for invincibility frames. You just gotta make sure you gotta watch out when you get out of your invincibility frame. So, in this particular area, what you got going on are these little, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I don't know what they call them, but I don't know how those two are affected, but uh, there's three of these little uh, chimneys that we have to turn off. As you can see, there's one right here that we're turning off now. There's one in the background, and I believe there is one to the right. So what you need to do is hit all three, and it'll open up the, this here door. <laughs> and the importance of this door is to make sure that we keep it moving to one of the four bosses that we are that is mandatory to beat the game. So. Uh, if you go back to the first episode, it's the Farron Keep, which is like the, the the guy, the soldiers that are standing up in like mercenary gear and whatnot. It's those guys. So let's keep it moving. Those guys are gonna follow me throughout this whole thing. I'm probably gonna die at least twice on this, and it will count to my punishment counter. So whoever's keeping track down and uh, how many times I've died so far, um, definitely, definitely count these. I'm not. These are definitely. Accountable, so don't worry. Oh god, as long as these don't these guys don't jump on top of me, I'll be good. Like that that animation that he just did behind me, I don't want that to land on me. And whoever if you if you don't get the Clorthy ring in any of your Dark Souls rings, uh, or uh, Dark Souls 3 runs, uh, I I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you gotta get that ring. That stamina boost is helping me out tremendous. Uh, I will show you where the uh, one of the. Um, we can skip this actually. So I gotta pay attention to jumping away from these guys. Ugh, hit me pretty hard. Um, we do have to. Ooh, ooh. I totally forgot about this. Let's skedaddle. Come on, come on. Like this. Cool, cool, cool. Let's can I sit? Yes, we're gonna sit, get our health ref uh, refilled, reset, and we'll be golden on that. I think. So as you saw, there is one Estus shard. I think there's. I want to say there's two, in actual this area. Is either a bone shard or an Estus shard, another one, and I think it's actually in this here room. Just gotta. Move these slugs around. Ah, okay, it's a, it's a bone shard. So, uh, we got two down, one to go. Actually, what's important is not the... I mean, it depends on if you're, build, if you're going for a certain weapon and a certain uh, coven. Because, oh, don't hit me. Okay, never mind, you hit me. So, in a certain coven, and that, like I was saying, because up here, we're going to be joining, or we can join, um... The Fair and Keep Coven. You'll, you'll, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> I don't remember the name exactly. But here is another bonfire, just so you can teleport back to this coven back and forth. The Elegant Legion Pope. So I could join this coven. Uh, I'll say yes for right now. I'm not in any coven. So, um, I forget what they do specifically. I don't remember if they go into other worlds and help each other, like other fair and keepers, or if you're pretty much a giant douche. Uh, I don't remember, but 
Uh, I don't really do a whole bunch of PvP, especially since there's so many, like, so many, there's a, kind of a bit of hackers. Oh, here is that. That's important. That'll unlock uh, another set of weapons for us to buy from the old lady. Uh, oh. No, please hold still. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Okay, so I missed one of the three. Dude, oh, it's over there. It's in the front. Is it the one that I don't like? Yeah, it is the one that's pretty tricky. Uh, before we do that, though, we're going to go fight an optional boss. Slowly, my uh, my memory, it's everything's coming back to me about my uh, remembering certain things and where certain items are. Uh, <clears throat> like, up here is actually, you get an optional boss, but you also get... Something I'm missing. Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, optional boss, but also at the same time, that's where you actually get to pick up the lightning spear, uh, which is an, a miracle uh, build or a weapon for the miracle build. I'm sadly enough, I won't be using it because, and I say sadly enough because that's normally my build. Uh, but here is the guy I was talking about. This is actually, if you played Dark Souls 1, this is actually, oh god, oh god, oh god, uh, no, no, ah, okay, cool. What? Ah, okay, cool. Sip, sip, god damn it. Shimmy, shimmy, yes. <laughs> oh god, Back. roll away, roll away. That's the only boss you actually want to roll away from. Nope, oh god. Truck, man. I didn't even know this thing had a grab animation. God. Come on, break out of it. Okay, thank you. The trick is you gotta stay behind it so it does this animation, and then you can hit it a couple times. That was way too many times that I wanted to swing. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, can't grab it that time, prick. Oh my god. Please note to self, level up my strength and what's going on. Or do a little re more research on how to hit like a tank. Normally by now, this guy wouldn't anywhere. Oh, okay, that's right, I'm normally not blocking. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, God damn it. Get, please get off. I think I'm gonna actually have to run away. Shit. As soon as I say I'm gonna run away, that happens. Oh my God. I guess bleed. Oh, this build's gonna be annoying. I only say that because I'm horribly not used to this type of style of playing this. Okay, so let's at least go back up and get the measly 400 souls we had. And then I'll come back and fight that guy later. Hopefully I'm strong enough to deal with the next... Maybe am I, do am I doing this out of order? I may be doing this out of order. I don't remember. Uh, I think I... I, th I want to say I am doing this out of order. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try to see if I can beat this one more time. Because the one thing that I am is persistent. But I'm trying not to... Also my challenge. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this the, oh my god. God. Okay, sip now. Right. Cut twice. No. None of that. Shame on you. You're not gonna even touch me with that animation. Getting it, getting it. Getting these hands now. I think 
this is from the first Dark Souls. That was the second. At least. It's one of the two, I can tell you that right now. There's an enemy. I, I don't play it, and then you can be well. I, I want to say it's the first one. Like the, literally, the first boss you fight is one of these guys. And I'm, I'm super excited to. Uh, no! Ran out of stamina. Uh, um, I'm super excited to. That I heard that they're redoing. Or not redoing. Oh! Oh! I haven't seen this happen before. This is totally news to me. You are angry. I mean, I would be angry too if I got my legs chopped off. Especially a human. A human. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I was actually supposed to do that. Makes sense. Makes sense. But. Oh, I didn't even pick up the souls. I, I fought that whole time without picking that up. <laughs> okay, so we got a great axe. We got so we got a soul that we'll probably more likely eat. I don't think we got anything important out of that soul, uh, weapon-wise. Uh, not for this build, anyway. Um, which I'll check it here. And oh, I got six thousand souls. But I seriously think we're doing this out of order. But. Um, I, th I know that area is optional, but it does help out quite a bit on our souls. Well, well, we'll keep going forward, and then we'll double back if I need to. But, let's head over to the Firekeeper Shrine. And why I say that, just because we do have the Shard, we have a Shard and... Um, we have a, sh a flash shard and an undead bone shard, so we'll get a little bit more health on our recovery, so let's... Yeah, okay, I thought I did the wrong thing. So, boom, boom, now we have Estus shard pl plus two, excuse me. And we're going to level up. We can level up one time, so one time... Mm, I want to go with... I think I'm gonna go with endurance because we are doing a lot of rolling and not having enough stamina is becoming death detrimental. Death detrimental? Detrimental. So boom, now we have eight shard or eight sips in our technically we have nine if I were to push over um, the flask to the other flasks, but we're gonna jump to believe it or not here. I want to say here, just because the placement of the next. Um, what am I? Fireplace? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Chimney? I, yeah, chimney. I guess it would be more or less a chimney. Uh, the next chimney is down the ladder, diagonally to the right. So we're gonna go run over there. Um, and I think we can unlock a shortcut and we can negate all of this entirely. Let's shimmy down this here ladder. No! Okay. Uh, oh, this is the knee-high water. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, fuck. Now I'm poisoned. Oh! I remember these creepy SOBs. Nope. Oh, God. I hate these guys so much. Because they have like a, a weird spell thing that does kind of a lot of damage, I think. If I hit at least all of them. Or you hit by all of them. But we are Dunyan rings here. Yes. I hate this area. <laughs> Alright, we can skip this. The door is now open. Invincibility friends for the... Oh! Now there's two! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Keep going. Keep going. 
making my way. No. Oh shit. Ah, oh, come on. This is not. Oh wait, that's an NPC. I mean, this is still a bad time for this, but. Ah. Uh, ah oh, shit. And I can't fast travel back only because. I won't have enough time to initiate my fast travel. I am completely, utterly stuck. I have no idea which way I'm going. There's a scroll ahead. The golden scroll? Probably shouldn't open this right now of all times. Oh! Getting cursed. Don't want to get cursed. Don't want to get cursed. Oh my god. Screw you, guy. Repair power, not important. I hear some spells going off. I want to fight you because you're being obnoxious. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Uh... Only if I remembered exactly which way I was going. Alright, but now I do know where I'm going, so now this won't happen again. So, technically, we're gonna mosey on our way, not to this bonfire, we're gonna go to the one that we're going to right now, and then negating this entire area because God knows I can't stand this area. It's difficult, it's kind of obnoxious, there's not a lot of stuff going on other than those two. Um, undead bone shard and flask. So, for those that don't like being poisoned every 15, 20, 30 seconds, definitely do a speed run of this area. <clears throat> and it, hey, if you guys know this something that helps me out build out on this, definitely let me let me know in the comments below. Uh, do me a favor though, in the comments, if you know exactly where something is that it helps me out build. Take a picture of it and Snapchat it to me. Uh, you're figuring out exactly where a location is via conversation is super difficult. I never liked walkthroughs that uh, were just written and no pictures. Because you could talk about something and still not know what the hell you're talking about. Or where it is. Whoa! No. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I remember now. I remember now. So we're going through here. Those guys are on my six, but that's a okay because I can think I can light this at, at the very minimum. Honestly, I really do love these guys. They hit like trucks, though, and I'm not gonna be able to. I gotta be very careful because for me, they can easily just eat my hits. I have to hit three times to stagger. Oh God, poise. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to try it. Oh my God! Hit me one time. Hit me two times. Shit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. Uh, talking all that shit. Talking all that shit. Ah, uh, come on. Am I dead? No, not dead. Oh God. Okay. I was gonna die. Ah, uh, I didn't need both of those. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. God damn it! No, 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 no! No, no! I don't know if that leaves me on the verge of death every time, or I just have enough health to survive it. Oh, I can heal up one! Okay, that, that, that was downright useless. The good thing is, I can heal up... God... Damn it! I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste. You're dying here. Thank you. And then I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> and then I'm gonna reset. Um, I forget why it's important to come back here. 
I mean, other than that bonfire, oh my god, I am definitely not supposed to be here. This, I think either I'm under leveled by like a shit ton, or I'm just not building right. I don't remember being this weak when I first came through here. And then I think I'm gonna stop right here. I'm not gonna even fight that guy just because. Low key, I think I am horribly equipped to fight right in this area. Okay, let's sit down. Let's sit down and think about my options here. I can... You know what? I was always impulsive, so let's just mosey on in and see what we can do. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm strong enough, I won't lie, to fight the next area. And I'm not patient enough. It's the combination of not being strong enough to take a hit and also patient enough to wait for my stamina to come back all the way and like actually duke it out in the next fight. Oh my god. Oh my god, I should have gotten the wrong way. Why are those NPCs and why aren't they helping? Those two NPCs, the one that was having trouble with earlier actually dukes it out with those guys. Actually all of them in this vicinity. I believe they're uh, from the abyss. And yeah, these two are, uh, I, f I forget exactly, they're, what they call, they work for the Abyss Watchers, that's what they are. So, any, anything that gets corrupted, and slowly they become corrupted, and I can't remember if it was like one guy, or there's an undead legion of them, that slowly over time become corrupted, and they have to fight each other and kill each other. But this weapon right here, or, I don't, I think it's this weapon, um, actually made his debut in the first Dark Souls game, not in this one. Uh, okay, so, we are in the wrong weapon. Okay, so, I definitely need to stop swinging one extra. Okay, so, I, I, I don't, I don't Maybe I need to... So my problem is my character swings this blade too, way too damn slow. Okay, so now I'm actually like staggering. Before I wasn't, which is really weird. Ah, oh, damn. Normally they fight each other. The tricky part is to get them to fight each other. But they do it. See, that, that is how... Oh, I think I just died. I just died. One hit, because I was too focused on people going in the, off in the background. Uh, but they do duke it out between themselves. I don't know how to, like, make myself invisible to them so they fight each other. But, honestly... Oh, I'm already hollow. Uh, let's actually... Let's jump back over here because I think I was I missed something that's important. Oh, I never get the Lady Ashes either. So we're gonna double back a little bit because I think we were actually supposed to go into this optional area before fighting one of the great four lord four lords. And his head is gonna actually be here, where the tip of the sword is on that chair. No, no, no. Actually, it's gonna be that chair, right? Right where the tip of the sword is. That chair is where he's gonna be. Um, first things first. Let's give these ashes. Ashen one, what was this barren dust? Stuff of a fool, won't he? Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Oh yes, I clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. It must come from one most foolish. Wouldst thou not agree? Okay, so. 
Uh, for, actually, for uh, all the ashes that you give out, that one uh, particularly, she gives more of a background, uh, more of a story on that one, uh, because they say that that one actually is the ashes that you give her are actually her daughters, uh, which I I don't remember the exact lore behind it, but I do remember reading that at least one at one point. Um, we're gonna go talk to this guy over here. And remember, in the earlier episodes, when I said that you turn hollow, which is this, and the older games, it eliminated your health, but in this game, it actually kind of means nothing. Uh, it actually means that you prolong this storyline, but as for, um, as for, like, uh, crippling handicap, it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, I... Um, we're not doing any of that. Be safe. Uh, don't tell me what to do. Um... What kind of weapon? This scales with more so strength than it does dexterity. The rapier goes with strength. The holy greatsword. Is this the one I was swinging earlier? time I've actually paid attention to these. Scoop, scoop. What is the purpose of Can I, can I scoot into a combo? Like, I'm very confused. Okay. <laughs> um, that scales with that. If you guys have any idea, I, give me some tidbits on how to scale, uh, do a build with scale, uh, um, uh, dexterity. Uh, because I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> um, is that minus 44? Oh, it's minus 44 because I don't think I can technically wield it. Oh, okay. No, now it's not minus 24, 44. So it does 390. So in two hands. I can wield this. Okay. So, we'll put the Uchi Katana back on. Um, and then we're gonna use one of these bad boys. But sadly enough, I am a little bit out of time for this episode. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna go in the next episode. Uh, because we're doing a little bit of backtracking. We'll be going... say here would be the fastest way to the area we need to go to we're gonna go I I'm, I can't remember if it's totally optional or if they if you need it no it's not optional Okay, so I remember what's going on now. Uh, the area we actually we did actually skip an area that we were supposed to go, which is not optional. I thought it was, uh, and I'll explain a little bit later down the road when we get to the crossroads. But as for right now, we are gonna call it quits, so I don't uh, so I don't have to get cut off or anything like that. But let me know in the comment below. Uh, let me know what kind of weapon I should go with. Uh, more of a uh, uh, claymore build. Um, that's what I do. I put lightning on it with my miracle. One of these episodes, I'll show you what my character looks like. My one of my main characters, my like 200 and something, like uh, new game plus three characters, uh, and then. Yeah, so you could it, just give me a little bit of background on what I can uh, play with. Our, uh, I kind of want to play with fire too, but I'm mainly going to stick with dexterity and uh, bleed and kind of stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think and in the comments below. Like that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, definitely the bell button so you know when I wrap the, uh, throw these out in rapid succession so uh, you don't miss anything important. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. And just remember, stay golden. Thank you.